I sat for the CFP exam in November of 2009 and so found out in early 2010 that I had um, passed the test. And the reason that I ended up doing that ever since I entered the financial services industry, which was in 2001, I really felt like the CFP was the gold standard for our industry and something that I really thought was worthy of pursuing just for the educational component and the credibility with clients. And so that was something that I'd always wanted to achieve. And I think also being a young female in a business that is not dominated by young females, having that credibility may, has made a really significant difference for me. The CFP really helps you think comprehensively about planning, and so you're really looking at all aspects of a client's financial situation, and that's something that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. And many times I have clients say to me, well, I've never thought of that before, or I've never been asked that question, and I think having that preparation and thinking about problems in that way has really been a benefit to my clients. The consumer is coming to the forefront now. We've heard so much in the news um, with all sorts of, uh, I guess, issues in the financial services industry, and people are looking for any way that they can determine a financial advisor's credibility. And having something like the CFP with a CFP board to back it up, I think really gives consumers a peace of mind, and that's a big difference now where maybe they weren't looking for that in the past.